Warships of the North Atlantic Treaty Organization assemble in Naples Harbor for a combined training exercise named Grand Slam. The Supreme Commander, General Eisenhower, has a final word with America's Admiral Carney, Director of Operations. So the ships of four nations, Britain, the United States, France and Italy, glide out at dawn to rendezvous with others from Mediterranean ports for the biggest ever peacetime maneuvers. Grand Slam is on as enemy aircraft are sighted over the convoy. Carrier-based planes take off from the USS Tarawa to intercept them, while gun crews on the French cruiser Georges Legge stand ready to lend support. For this exercise has been devised so that units of different navies should rely on each other at all times. A jet fighter is catapulted from the American carrier Midway, while the catapult returns to launch other jets in a combined four-power strike on coastal targets. Senior officers from Norway and France take off by helicopter to see for themselves the power of a modern carrier-based striking force. Meanwhile, heavy naval guns complete the pounding of vital enemy installations. The planes return, the attack is successful, as the complete exercise proved to be. For nine days, more than 200 ships of the four navies had become a single fleet steaming towards that horizon of close cooperation so vital to world peace.